And welcome in to a special edition Blue Streaks Halftime Show interview here on WJCU.org. I'm your sports director, Logan Batoski, and sitting down with us is a very special guest. He is a guard on the John Carroll men's basketball team. We're sitting down with senior guard Eric Hanna. Eric, thanks so much for stopping in. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So right before we kind of talk about your John Carroll career, just real quickly taking it back to your high school days, did grow up here in the Northeast Ohio area, played high school basketball at Olmsted Falls. How did you ultimately decide on attending John Carroll? So yeah, my uh, two older brothers actually attended John Carroll and graduated from here. And so I've been very familiar with JCU for a while, and it's a very uh, historic program. And uh, then just going through like the recruiting process with different OAC schools, uh, I visited here and fell in love with the place and the coaching staff and everything. So, and then on top of that, like the business school is very good, and I'm a finance student, so it was really no no question. So, sound like basketball and academics went hand in hand, even the family ties as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly, perfect fit. That's awesome. So, kind of going onto the hardwood a little bit here. In terms of last season, I know last season had a couple of injuries. I know a lot of COVID kind of hit the team, so not the best turnout of a season, not what you guys were looking for, but you did play a significant role on that squad. You played and started in 22 games, but now this season kind of transitioning more into that 6th, 7th man type of role off the bench, but you are just one of two seniors on this team, so very young team, so perhaps an increased leadership role in that sense. How have you adjusted to this new role? Yeah, so I mean, we have a lot of talent uh, on our team, and like you said, last year it was it was a difficult season dealing with a lot of different injuries and guys playing through injuries, and then multiple COVID shutdowns. And uh, but getting into this year, like with the transfers and everything, I mean, we had some very high level players come in, so I kind of took the role of being more of a of a leader, and whenever I got to get on the floor, just play hard and do what I can to you know get Ws. And, well, that certainly has been the case through 20 games. 18 of those games have been victories for you guys. And currently number 7 in the nation in Division Three, the latest D3Hoops.com poll. And you guys are solo atop the OAC with a 12-1 and record and a 10-game winning streak as well. So certainly starting to peak at the right time. What does this team need to do to keep the positive momentum going as we come into the end of the regular season? Yeah, I, I think just stay focused. I mean, we have like three weeks left of the regular season and then the OAC tournament. And uh, basically just stay focused. You know, it's a long grind of a season, I guess. Stay healthy and uh, come into work every single day because we have the talent and everything else. So we just need to stay focused and uh, get, get some more wins, hopefully win an OAC championship. And that certainly would be what you guys are looking for. Obviously, not just regular season, also tournament championship certainly would be nice as well. So that's kind of more on the team side. Just again, looking at your season now more individually, you are averaging nearly five points off the bench, but you are shooting a career best nearly 43% from three-point range. What's been working well for you so far? Yeah, I think just taking that role of you know being more of a shooter uh, this year instead of try and score from all three levels as opposed to last year and then just getting in the gym every single day to try and get shots up and you know try and try and be that that guy that you know these very dynamic guards can rely on to knock down a a three whenever they uh are getting you know double teamed or whatever the case may be and I know just watching you play the past couple of seasons you're not afraid to shoot the really deep threes is that something you tend to work on yeah I guess so (laughs) any half court shooting at all uh, I mean, not not too much, but I definitely, at the end of my workouts, like to stretch my range a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Never know when you're <laughs> going to need it. So that's awesome, man. John Carroll guard Eric Hanna is our guest on this Blue Streaks halftime show interview. So we've talked a lot about on the basketball court. We're going to venture off of it a little bit here. So like we've said, you are a senior here at John Carroll, and you're currently pursuing a degree in finance. So do you have any plans in mind at the moment for once your time at JCU is complete? Yeah, actually, I have a, a job lined up. I signed uh, the contract a couple months ago for uh, I'm working at Wellspring Financial Advisors, uh, doing like wealth management, financial planning, and then I'll be pursuing my CFP, uh, Certified Financial Planner. So I worked for them last summer and really, really enjoyed it, and I'm excited to start that next step. Well, that's great, man. Uh, Congratulations on that, and best of luck to you. Uh, Sounds like you're going for that certified financial planner credential there. So Thank you. But again, still a lot of basketball season left, so probably just trying to enjoy that last little bit too, right? Yeah, most definitely, 100%. Oh, for sure. So now talking about, again, we have talked a lot about basketball, but what do you enjoy doing when you're not on the basketball court? 
Uh, honestly, just spending time with my friends. I mean, mostly my teammates uh, on and off the court. But, you know, just going to get team dinners together, just hanging out. And, I mean, honestly, nothing nothing too, like, specific, but just spending time with my guys. Nothing right. beats it. Yeah, just building that brotherhood, establishing that kind of close-knit culture that the Blue Streaks have had, and it certainly has shown on the floor this season. Now, I've talked with a couple of your teammates earlier this season. I think they've mentioned, like, are there two basketball houses, I think, at least? It's like a five-and-five five type of deal. kind of reminds you of on the court. you got that five-man <laughs> rotation swap going. Yeah, we have uh, we have a couple of different houses that we hang out at. Mine, uh, me, I live with uh, Connor O'Toole, William Wallace, and then Jared Bublenik. He was on the team last year. And then the other house is uh, Frazier, Chacon, Eller, Sean Collins, and then uh, Jerry Higgins. Well, that's awesome. And with those houses, I see it kind of aligned guys who've been here the whole time, and now you have – the other house guys who've transferred in and you're showing them the way of the blue streak. So yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And so for you specifically being one of the just two seniors on this team, as the team celebrates senior day this weekend, what would you say is your favorite memory during your experience here at John Carroll? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, honestly, it might be this year beating Mount at home. That was a great one. Or going back uh, my freshman year, a couple years ago, we beat uh, Marietta at Marietta to go to the OAC championship. That was a really fun day and game. A couple of big wins in program history, and I tell you, that crowd on that Wednesday night a while back against Mount Union, I mean, I, I don't think I've seen a crowd that large and just that loud in University Heights. Yeah, it was pretty spectacular of an atmosphere. Awesome moment that night for Blue Streak Nation. So we're going to kind of go into our last segment here. Do want to thank you once again, Eric, for taking the time to be with us this week. It's something I call Fast Favorites. Do this in every interview that I do. So it's just five topics. You just give me your five favorites. How's that? Sounds good. All right, perfect. So first up, your favorite food. Favorite food, steak. Not much hesitation there, was there? <laughs> Especially the way I cook it. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go, a cook. So uh, I don't know if you know, but I know that your head coach has a great interest in cooking. You guys ever talk about that? <laughs> uh, not too much, no. Oh, well, maybe there's a new topic yeah, of conversation yeah. right there. Favorite show? Uh, the Office. Certainly one of mine as well. Favorite movie? <sighs> that is a good one. I've always said Remember the Titans, so I'm going to stick with it. It's so kind of that sports motivational yeah, type yeah. of deal. Favorite music artist? Zach Bryan. So more like countryside? Yeah. I like a lot of different type of music, but right now it's definitely Zach Bryan. He's, yeah. He's, he's really good. I want to see him live and this summer. I've heard from teammates, I know like Connor O'Toole kind of seems to be like another one, like the main country guys, like they're playing music, he'll play the country. Some of the guys don't really like it. Sounds <laughs> like you're on board. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I like all types of music, so I don't really mind either way. Well, there you go. And finally, your favorite all-time basketball player? Devin Booker. You know what? I kind of see the similarity in your guys' games. <laughs> definitely a good outside game, but not afraid to take it in. And three-level scoring. I definitely can see that. Yeah, I, I've uh, I've loved D. Book for years now. But uh, especially when he was young on the on the not-so-good Suns teams, I, uh, I, I started liking him then, so I guess I bought his stock low. <laughs> I also know that you guys wear the same jersey number, number one. Now, mm-hmm. is that just pure happenstance? Yeah, that is pure, yeah. That. How about that? <laughs> very cool, very cool. So, Eric, that's just about all the time we have. Do want to thank you once again for being with us here, and best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. That was John Carroll guard Eric Hanna on our Blue Streaks Halftime Show interview, and coming up, the rest of our coverage of today's matchup between your D3Hoops.com 7th-ranked John Carroll Blue Streaks and the Marietta Pioneers, right here on your home for the Blue Streaks, WJCU.org.